Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tutty Treasures. Hello there. Um, I've got a couple of days worth of projects <clears throat> um, on my desk. We're going to spend uh, a couple of days uh, working with some paper bags. Now, I don't have millions of paper bags, but I've got quite a few um, and I'm thinking it'd be, you know, um, a, a good time to get some used. So they come in all different sizes, don't they? I've got these really uh, small ones. These other ones are the same size, but they're a little bit wider. And then they're um, the same width and a little bit wider. So they're the three uh, paper bags I've got. So we'll take a look at these ones uh, first. And I thought they'd be lovely with a little notebook um, inside there and then make this into a pocket. Now you could make a couple of pockets, um, but I'm just gonna make one. Obviously you don't have to put a little notebook in, you could put a really long um, tag in there. Um, and I think these would be nice at the front um, of a journal. So I'm gonna make four, I don't think I'm doing for on camera we'll see we'll see how we go um what else have i got got some just little tickets i found these in my stash and i thought color wise they they go really well with the uh, the daisy kind of colors that i've been doing so we've got those i've got a couple of um blank tags which i don't know if i'm going to use these as the actual tag um, or if I'm going to use these as like the back of the tag and then decorate uh, the front up, I'm not sure. But I thought size, excuse me, size wise, uh, they was perfect. So I've got four of those. Um, I sorted through my uh, William Morris papers. These are from a kit from Nanine at Collage Time. Obviously, they're the same. Um, and I thought I'll just pull out some of the uh, greeny ones. So we've got that one. And then that's that one, but it's got, um, I want to call it the checked, uh, the graph um, at the front. So I thought I could use these. That's probably now looking at it a bit more uh, bluey. So I think I'll put that to one side. So I thought I can, you know, use those as uh, the tags. So that's those. Um, I've also got these from um, last month's Creative uh, Studio box and these are actually uh, stickers, so they're 6x6 six six stickers um, and I'm going to be making uh, the little notebooks out of some 6x6 six six scrapbook paper and at the back of these are, you know, what you could have cut out for tags. So I thought going to be a bit difficult to to lay it on and get it perfect but i'll give it a go thought that could be the inside and plus it'd give it you know a bit more uh stability so that's um those and as i've just said these are from a six by uh six pad um i've tea dyed them so it's took that that white off and then <laughs> these are from the same pad, but it's the 12 by uh, 12. These are from a uh, craft consortium. Um, I do have two of their books. I've got the herbarium one, and I can't remember the other one, but if you go on my Amazon favorites, it is under paper pads and ephemera. So we've got this nice uh, daisy print at the back, and obviously we've got the mason jars uh with the daisies in so again i've tea stained uh those so i've got four of those and then these are left over from oh last year um it was um a bow bunny pad i think it, it was called botanical journal um i did um some of the tina at shabby dabby doodah's mass makes and um I used the whole, well, I didn't use the whole paper pad because <laughs> this is some here, but I never enough used the whole uh, paper pad. These are only single sided, and again, I've tea stained them. It's not very dark, but it just takes that, that white uh, away. And I thought this, you know, goes lovely with the daisies because it's, well, one, it's flowers and, and the colour of it. And I thought this one did too. So that's what I've got. 
I'm going to cut some of these down uh, to six by six because I don't want to make four all, um, you know, with this one. So if I choose, if I take two of those and um, let's put those. I want to pick four of these. Now I've got that plainish one, so I'll pick that. I don't suppose it, it matters, does it? They're all uh, very similar. So we've got what we're going to um, back it with. And then if we cut uh, two of these down. So if I cut half of this down and have one as this side, uh, this side and one as that side, um, that will give us two, two different ones. Um, let me just move my cups because I'm just going to have to bring that... The trimmer up, sorry if you can see my hair. Oh, right. So we'll cut this down uh, to six. Now, let me just remake sure that that is the six. I think the six is right on this uh, one. Um, I suss it out and then I don't use it for so long and I totally uh, forget. So, yeah, so the six is right uh, there where the white starts again. So, oh, I need to change my glasses. I've got the wrong glasses on. So, that's that let me just check that it is six yeah then we'll do that again okay so we've got two oh, they're not the same size aren't they that's just going to be a bit over. Um, but that's that's fine. Um, the bags, I think, are about three and a half. Um, so that's fine. Right, I'm just going to pause. I'm going to change my glasses. Okay, I'm back. Right, so I think we'll cover these first. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> so if I peel these off, hopefully they'll be easy to, to peel yeah super duper so if I put that like so try and get it straightish come on that's it and then if I get that corner and that corner that should in fairly be okay that seemed to go too easy. Have I put it upside down or something? No. <laughs> now that is a little bit short, but <clears throat> that's fine. Um, we can obviously ink round it and what have you. So that's one. Um, I'm going to do that that way. So again, peel this off. Obviously, if you've not got these, um, it is... If you're using scrapbook paper, um, this is rarely thick enough for, for a little cover. Um, or if you wanted... Oh, that's gone a bit wonky. Or if you wanted to just cover it with digital paper or, you know, what whatever paper to give it a little bit more um, strength. I suppose I could trim, trim around them, couldn't I? Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. But let's... Let's get them on first. I thought that went, it's gone pretty well. It could have been, could have been worse. Oh, I've got two more today. Well, we'll see. <laughs> hold, um, hold judgment for a minute. Yep. Come on. If you haven't got any bags, there's lots of uh, videos on, on YouTube how to make uh, bags but I'm guessing a lot of you will have uh, bags they don't have to have those uh, <clears throat> these you know bottom bits you could do it with a with a normal uh, bag <clears throat> but obviously with the gusset bit it just it does allow you a little bit more 
more room. So I'm going to put that down that way, aren't we? Yeah, that one is going to be um, a bit a bit bigger because that was the smaller one that I cut. So let's get these down to <coughs> down to kind of straight. And so they don't have to be a perfect six by six. And then I'll ink all around them, fold them down the middle, and then all they will need is some, some papers in there. I'm thinking probably five sheets will be, be enough. That'll be like 20 um, sides. Oh, I'm going to cut this one down a little bit, so we've not got that. Mind you, I mean, I could put some washi um down there because I don't really want them any shorter um, only because I don't know I don't know but yeah I'm thinking probably going shorter isn't a good good idea so I don't want them to get lost um, in the bag so that one's fine gosh this one is one okay That's fine, I'm not, not going to do the bottom, just take a sliver off there. Yep. Yeah. I think that's just that side. I think the first one was the best one I did. <laughs> Probably because it went well. I thought, oh, mm, this is easy. <laughs> Let me go down. Right, that's, um, that's enough for, for that. Um... I think there was only, well that one needs a bit of something at the bottom and so does that. I bet there's the two, yeah. So I'm going to use um, my washi tape from uh, Stationery Pal and I've got the washi tape and the dispenser from there. I have got an affiliate link and it is in the description and I've also got a discount code for 12% off. Um, so if you do go on there, don't forget to take advantage of that. Um, I have spoken to them about um, some some countries, um, the postage being quite high. And um, they did say that they was going to uh, feed that back to, you know, upper, upper management. So um, hopefully they will... Um, take take a look at um, that I don't know if um, I, I find it a lot with online stores um, you know one minute you put something in and it's such and such and then you put a bit more in and the postage seems to get get less Um it seems to be a flat rate so sometimes you're best doing uh, like I um gosh get your words out i order from scrapbooking.com which is in america now it it's a pretty flat rate um from there it does go higher but you've got to have a lot of stuff for it to kind of go you know to the next tier so um you know it's too expensive to just have one or two two things so I tend to order from there like twice a year and and be, you know, not ridiculously big orders, but um, biggish orders that it's worth because it is cheaper uh, for me to order from there uh, versus the, the price on Amazon. But then when you put the postage on, it isn't. So if, if I've got a few uh, things to order, then it, it evens itself uh, back out and obviously I've got a lot more choice ordering from them than I do on Amazon even though like Amazon's only we all shop on Amazon don't we Amazon's fabulous um but yeah they obviously 
you know, like if I'm looking for bow bunny paper, they'll perhaps have one or two two things. They don't seem to have the full um, collections on there. And a lot of the time, when I order off Amazon, it's coming from US Direct anyway. Um, so, you know, then you've got that, that wait time. Whereas I find if I do it from scrapbooking.com, yeah, I've still got the wait time, but everything's coming all in one go instead of having, you know, a million different um, delivery dates. So, so anyway, I'm hoping that they take take that on on board. Um, so, but thank you to those of you who who have made an order from there. I've made a little commission, and um, like I say, they they asked me to be a part of their Instagram um, birthday celebration. So that's really nice. Um, so yeah, thanks. Thank you. Right. So. We've got those. That's a bit sticky out here, isn't it? Let's just, even though I didn't want to trim any off the top, I don't really want um, something sticking, sticking out. So that's those, fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to just literally fold them in half. Just feeling across the edge, making sure it's, you know both sides of of met and we'll just if you're doing this with bigger bags obviously you know alter your sizes um to fit fit your bag <laughs> what's your bag could do this on the scoreboard but i think you know they're going to be funny um measurements they're not you know exactly six by six so this will work fine. I really like this paper now. I've tea stained it. I think I will tea stain the whole uh, pad because uh, I love the pad, uh, both of them. But um, yeah, all the backgrounds are white, white, and um, I'm not I'm not a big fan of the of the white. I just find it a little bit stark. It's not that I'm so much wanting even the vintage or grungy look. It's just that I find the white too stark. Um, I much prefer a cream uh, background. I think that's why I've gone on to tea staining as, as well. I just like that subtle... Um, it's not exactly in half, but that'll be fine. Now that has cracked a little bit. rest of them haven't they but if they do crack obviously you can put some uh, material up there put some washi tape up there um, which I probably will do once uh, we've got some papers in so these are going to go in here like so and they just fit fit lovely <laughs> and they won't go go down much much further and I think once that's stuck down they won't go down any further anyway so that's that you could also have um, a big tag at the back and then the little uh, notebook at the front and then your tag um, at the front which I might do uh, that so we've got those let me see if I've got any um, larger tag bases which we could have in the in the back I think that's too too wide so that's a tall one that's a tall one that's a tall one and, and that's a tall one so yeah we could probably do that let's have a look I would have preferred them all this kind of thickness. Let's have a look at that. Oh, there's two there. Yeah, they're ideal. So I might cut those uh, down. So, yes, I'll put a tug in, in the back as, as well. <clears throat> and I might as well use the, 
for the plain um, journal cards and then like I say you can use those as your writing uh, part. Okay, okay. So what shall we do now? We need to cover these and I've got my ruler somewhere. So we're going to say it's eight and a half centimetres just so we've got a bit of a board around and I think if I did it at just over 12 then it could just go in a little bit. So let's first, ah, I'll use that one. So I said it's exactly nine. So I think eight and three quarters. Let's do that. So eight. Have a look at that. Oh yeah, that's lovely. It does want some some off the top. So we'll do two in this, eight and three quarters. Oh, that's nine and three quarters. So that's those two. And then we'll have those opposite uh, way round. Hopefully that will take that little uh, rip off. Yeah, that's fine. Take that from the bottom. Okay, and then we want um, this panel. So we know that it's eight and three quarters. So, okay. There, and it is about six. So we'll just go under six. That. And like that so we've got those two what shall we do for the other two we'll keep all those scraps over there um let's do the other two in the six by six ones wherever they are so what did we say um eight and three quarters eight and a half eight and three quarters take some off the top that's not right is it oh it is it's funny that looks wider so that's that one and then mm, unfortunately we obviously can't and I don't want it to the side so let's get <coughs> excuse me um another one so we want it eight and three quarters and then we wanted it was it three or something let's get this back so just about there it wasn't three it was six okay so that's another one um can't do anything with those two so let's do another one and then eight and three quarters eight and three quarters little bit off the top so that that's as four um fingers and i've got got a rip there but right got quite a few uh, scraps haven't we so i think what i'm going to do now is um ink all around these and these and the bags I'm going to ink around the bags in walnut stain because it goes on to the craft um, a lot better and um, 
round the papers i'm going to do it in the gathered twigs if i can find a walnut stain that's it okay okay so i shall be back i shall be back in a tick Okay, so everything's inked. I've got my uh, mat out, so I'm just gonna uh, stick them, stick them down. Hopefully they'll they'll all fit. Okay, so I'm using uh, the clown. I'm gonna try and get around the edge. I think I've got a delivery, and that's why uh, Colin's barking. It's also my uh, night to have. Um, <laughs> My daughter obviously and her two friends so I, I have told them that I'm filming but um, you know the teenage girls so <laughs> uh, they was doing a lot of laughing and banging about um, before <clears throat> I started filming so I did have to say I'm gonna start filming in a minute so but you might air uh, the occasional uh, giggle <laughs> I've just been in Eleanor's bedroom and it's like a sauna in there. Oh dear, I'm so surprised she ain't all not passed out. Now that is a little bit too long. Mm. <clears throat> so, not great for your cutter, but... Oh well. Right, let me just check that. I'm going to stick it down and then I shall try and ink ink the bottom and I will check the the other ones oh, I don't think I've cut that very straight yet. but it's on <clears throat> so just ink around there oh that looks lovely yeah I like that so oh, maybe it was just that one I think I'm just going to take a little bit um, off this one. Can't really see. Let's just ink that. And just put in some uh, papers over the top of the bag you know really gives the bags uh, some stability so yeah i thought nice at the front of a journal little notebook you can perhaps you know write your little things down as they pop up in your mind what you want to journal about you know another time um because i think you know sometimes random things come to us as head don't they and um then when we come to sit and and write um you know we, we've forgotten so i've got a little notebook and then you can just um jot it down and and come back to it or you could put your you know favorite quotes in there or little memories or 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 your little things what you want to not not so much keep personal but not in in the main part of your um of your journal or you can take take the notebook out and use it use it out elsewhere because um we all need notebooks don't we so i used to buy a ton and i've still got a ton that um i'm working my way through but um i haven't bought any more uh notebooks because obviously i shall just make make my own but uh, yeah, I've got several uh, to get to get through. Okay. Then we'll have to work out what what we want on on the tags. Or shall we do the do the booklets first? I don't know. <laughs> I think we'll do the outdoor, the outdoor, <laughs> the outside uh, tag uh, first, so we can match it. You know, match it up with the paper. Um, I'm hoping 
the William Morris will go go nice with that. But I don't know if I'll have enough um, oops, to cover all, all four of them. That's what I'm looking for. Totally forgot what I was doing then. I think these kind of things, if you're, um, <clears throat> if you've got, um, you know, doing, I don't know what you call them. Um, when you have a table uh, somewhere, um, these would be nice. Uh, for that kind of um, thing, also nice for snail mail because you know they are going to be pretty slim. So yeah, probably a good idea for, for snail mail. Like I say, you can always put another pocket on, or you could put a little corner one on there if you wanted to put lots of uh, little bits on there. I think that's too long. It is a little bit. Oh, it isn't. There's some more room down there. So. so, that is those. And I'm going to get the art glitter and just go up the sides. Oh, you know what? I forgot to get a pin out the other day. I did, I did say um, the pin snapped um, and I meant to get another one out. Yep, I don't two. Let's pop that in. Okay. Right, so yes, I'm going to put those down and I think I'm going to get my clips out just to keep them down because they're not thick as such but um, yeah they're, they're probably going to want holding, holding down so I'm just going to put a thin to the side see if they if I do need a clip or not no no, that's fine. Okay. Right. Okay. That one seemed to be to be stuck anyway. Right, so that's those. Let's put that pin in. I was lucky that it didn't. Um, you know, you know, block up. Right, I don't need those. But I was going to use my little uh, clips. I do have those on my uh, Amazon favourites, and they do come come in handy so these are the ones that I was going to use which are a nice um, a nice size so that's not going to be so good for writing on but I do actually like this colour so I think I might just leave this um, like this I think it'd look nice in in one of those so let's get the ink out um, this is from a kit from Anna at um, Pink Monarch Prints. I forget which um, kit it is. It's one that I used not very long ago. It's not the flea marker. Right. So I think that looks lovely in in there. So that's one. These obviously do want covering and the backs will be nice for uh, writing on. So, let's have a look at this. I don't even think that'd be... Oh yeah, could get one out of that. So, I think that would look very nice on there. So I could perhaps do that with 
with that. I don't know if this necessarily goes with, with that. Just this one. I think this one might, you know. What about the faded one? Mm, I like that one. So all I'm going to do is stick, well, I think I'll cut this down a little bit. I'm going to save um, that bottom bit. You can perhaps use that in some collage. So cut this down. And I will save this side because this is good for <coughs> uh, backing a tag. I've just got a little pile at the side of my uh, desk, what I've got that I can use to pull out for backing uh, tags. Because I used to have them in a folder um, and I used to forget about them um, <clears throat> and stuff. So now nah, I've just got them on my desk. Right. So we'll pop that on. I can go right to that edge, can't I? Yep. This is from uh, Nanine's, I think, second William Morris uh, kit. She's just bought, bought out another one, um, <clears throat> which goes with the Sage and Willow um, journal kit that she's got. And they're in, it's a lovely tone of, of green. Um, I will be doing a project with that later in the year. Oh, oh, that's lovely. And we'll keep that for collage. Right, so. Yeah, I love that in there. I'm just in around it. Nice, easy tags. Obviously, you can, you know, go to town on, on them if you want. I'm just thinking, keep it thin um, with it being... I mean, you can get away with having something thicker at the front of the front of your book, but um, yeah, I'm just keep thinking keep it keep it simple. But obviously, you can decorate it as much as you want. Yeah, I really like that. So that's two. Then where's my other tag? It's hiding under there. So I think I would like to get this green. Um, in <coughs> excuse me um so let's get that bit in so if I go about there I think that will be okay okay so yeah I've just printed off the the other William Morris kit and like I say it's it's stunning but it, this um <laughs> I've got a, a waiting list of um kits now all printed out ready ready to use um, so I won't be printing anything else out for for a while um, I think I've probably got enough to definitely get me over spring and prob maybe even uh, summer because um, I do want to get <coughs> um, Edith Alden in but if I don't get her in for spring summer um, I might do a do an autumn uh, project because um, I do love the autumn pages, but we shall see. We're only in <coughs> April, but um, yeah, I mean, it's surprising, especially, you know, this Daisy um, project. It's been, you know, a long uh, project. I obviously don't do all my projects <coughs> this long, but I like to do one or two a year. So you can see, um, you know, kind of my process of, of doing things. Oh, that's nice. I think that will go nice in that one. Yeah, that's unstuck. That's fine. Okay, so that's that one. Let's have a look at this one. I might go that way and have this part um, in. <coughs> so we want to go that way. Right. Go about 
và người Thái trying to think what I'm doing after Daisy oh I need to finish the woodland um <clears throat> friends off the graphics 45 so yeah that'll be the next um thing but everything's made um for that oh I don't believe I've got that bit of white but I put some washi tape on it <laughs> And it, that's something else that I'm finding that I'm using more and more, the washi, because it's now on my desk, um, because I used to have it in, in a little tub. Um, but um, yeah, now I've got it on those reels. I've got two reels, one on top of the other. So I'm able to have, I don't know, about 10 washi tapes on, on my table. And obviously I've chose... Um, the washi tapes that I use, um, you know, colour wise more, um, so it's made it that I'm actually using them, which is nice because I love washi tape and it's it's great for things like like this, you know, for covering up those little boo boos, and obviously, you know, just as decoration on things as well. So yeah, that goes really nice with that. Yeah, apart from, I think, I just put a bit of uh, glue on there. I could probably get another thin one on there, really. Okay, so that's that. And yeah, they, <coughs> they do uh, stack up so I think I'm gonna have another couple and um, so yeah, I've put like the more Tim Olsey ones there Um I was gonna have all these green but if I had another couple I could have you know one brown uh, one green and um, yeah I think that's about all I've got anyway <laughs> brown and green my favorites right so we've done uh, that do we want anything um, like a label on on the front? We might do. And do we want something on the, the fronts of of these? It's like I'm gonna swap those round so they're you know a little bit different. Right. So I've got labels. And I've got some words. So I've got any. I could have like things to remember. I could have lists. These are from uh, the the planner kit from uh, Nanine. Oh, we could have notes. That would look very nice on there. So lists. Oh, ideas. I think colour wise there very nice on those that's got a bit of blue on let's see if I've got anything else got a journal love remember it was a bit big but I could cut cut that out January I don't know if you can see in here or not, but I don't really want to place them on top of my little pile. Field diary. Document. Ideas. I just saw ideas somewhere. That's a little bit small. Might have to cut that, that one down, what I just said. Nope. Fabulous. <laughs> it's one of my favourite words. Fabulous. Gosh, I say it so much. Yeah, 
real enjoy forever genuine grace kind I've got journal I don't think journals right for it it's not it's a notebook isn't it oh come on why didn't I pull that other one out today oh, wrong colour grace oh stories that would be nice okay that's um I'm, I really like those two and let's just cut this out stories these are from uh anna uh, pink monarch prints she does some lovely labels in her kits and i really like the font um that she uses that's <clears throat> gonna have to go go around that oh yeah that's lovely and then there was oh today let's have I've that one on there and I do like these labels for the fact of you can keep them you know the bigger or you can cut them cut them down so it's kind of a two-in-one very versatile I think I'm off screen aren't I but I literally I'm just cutting cutting round nothing fancy going off a lot of struggling <laughs> just struggling let's check the timer actually oh 46 I think I'm going to leave it there for today um, I shall ink around those and stick those on um, and I will do um, a second video and um, put um, the finishing. I'm not throwing a little, I was throwing my list away. Um, yeah, we'll come back and uh, finish them off. I think I'll dig out some little labels uh, for on here. I think I'll like some like blank um labels i'll keep those two on actually they're nice nice color so i will see you uh later bye for now